Gonna help my buddy build a six foot by seven foot barn door. We're kind of winging it, not really. So it's gonna make some of you door guys wince if you're watching this. And I'm totally open to criticisms. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. So the first thing I did was build a two by four square to make sure that it would go up bulkhead and uh, it does not. So we're gonna take out a step and see how that goes. So we got our little shop set up here, homemade router table. And this two by four frame was not just to see if we can fit it out the door, which it doesn't. It was to build on top of and clamp to nicely. Uh, it's not the best setup, but certainly better than nothing. So we'll just have to make all the pieces and assemble it somewhere else, which is fine. This is where we're at so far, just clamped to the table. We made this bench, obviously, or this platform with a nice piece of plywood so that we know that we can just square off of that. We still have to chamfer this, round over these, and dado it to receive our panels. But so far, so good. We're going to practice our joinery with some of the cutoffs, and this is where some of the... Uh, Door builders might wince a little bit, but that's all right. We'll see how they like it. All right, so obviously this looks a little crazy, but this is what I'm planning on for the joints. I got the Grizzly Dual Spinner Dialing Joiner. I know it's got mixed reviews, but I was able to dial it in pretty well. And I will chase, oh, I will chase that with, use a half inch Forstner bit, and that actually allows your 5 16 lag screw bit to fit in there so that you can then plug it. So let's see how this works. I'm not going to glue this up, but all the other joints will actually be glued up. Wow, guys, look at that. Absolutely perfect. And let me show you this real quick. You'll see that the bit goes right into the half inch Forstner bit hole. Oop. And you got to wiggle it out. Dummy. <laughs> Here I am showing how to do it wrong, but and then the half inch plug. We'll sneak right into there and that is a serious joint biscuits dowels eight inch lag screws we use a full length 3 16 so that really it's just the threads catching this is kind of just to draw it in for the glue joint and hold it while everything sets up along with the clamps but that is freaking solid and this is where it's at so far some super tight nice flush joints we have three quarter by three quarter dado all the way around. It's obviously just dry fit right now. Like I said, it won't fit out the uh, fit out the bulkhead, but that's all right. I'm pretty happy with it. We just chamfer these all the way around, round over the outsides. I'm gonna do an MDF panel with V grooves cut every six inches on both sides. Give this thing a real look. You got the chamfer done. I kind of like the little curve transition i mean i don't know if this is gonna end up looking like a kit i mean i guess if we could meet the standards of machined work that's i don't know if that's good or bad you know you can expect imperfections with some handmade stuff it's just character but you know some might chisel that chamfer so that we have sharp edges but i don't think i will i, I think i like this keeping it simple guys we're using the speed square as our guide and we've ended up very good. That was my first one. It's a little off, and that's because I went with what I felt was naturally level, but nothing's saying that my work surface is necessarily level, even if it's flat. So since trusting the square entirely in both directions, everything has came out perfect. So we're just gonna continue that. So we have our MDF panel cut to size. Now we're gonna use our V-groove bit on both sides to give it that tongue and groove kind of look. And, uh, then we'll get it assembled. This is what one side of one panel looks like, and I think that's gonna come out nice. All right, we got the two panels grooved and primed. I just wanted to get it kind of where, you know, the uh, it would be tough to paint where they're gonna be in dados and stuff. So let's get it assembled. Gotta break down the whole, the whole setup and reset it outside. So we found a nice flat spot on the lawn in the shade and reconstructed our little table. Brought the first piece out. I got these little bumpers that I'm just gonna stick in the dados. Obviously we have some space around our panels for expansion contraction. Started by setting the two panels to the middle rail and then putting the bottoms in and note to self, get an 11 16 or potentially even a 7 8 bit for these dados. Cause as much as I sanded down these edges, 
it was still really snug so just for the future i know that and uh we got quite a few things to glue in and then hopefully the big boy clamps will pull everything together and that'll be that all right guys we are super glued up and we're really hoping that uh this goes as well as we want it to miraculously it all went together now we just gotta plug the holes all plugged up perfectly flush it is paint grade so i didn't need to go super hard trying to get the uh the grains to match and stuff like that but nice nice all right guys we got the door up the stairs we got the ledger and the low pro bracket we got the handles routed out let's see how it goes that's great news guys so this header is actually 7 16ths out of level so my ledger is scribed 7 16ths to nothing from point to point and the floor is 5 8 out of level so i split the difference on the bottom of the door and went 5 16ths to nothing because if i went the full 5 8 to nothing this side's actually level it would exaggerate over there and we only have one inch on our track which wouldn't catch so Good to go so far. And there it is, guys. Operates like you want, obviously. Closes off that room. They didn't want much sound up here, traveling up here when all the kids are visiting, so nice. There it is from the other side. Chose to go with the horizontal handle. Otherwise, you would have to reach in here. They were totally fine with it. 